Hello, my beautiful alchemists. Welcome to Alina's Alchemy. For those new here, this is Alina. I'm an intuitive. I hope you're all doing good. So we are literally just days away from the equinox. Depending on where you are at, you could be shifting into summertime or it's like springtime and then summertime or you could be shifting into wintertime so my beautiful ones i thought that it's fitting to sit here and do a little reading a little pick a card reading to see what is shifting for you so my loves i'm having here three piles pile number one with the labradorite pile number two with the amethyst and pile number three with this beautiful i believe this is green calcite so pause the video and tune into each of these three and choose the one that you resonate most with and i will see you uh in your reading check the timestamps in the description and in the comments and uh, to be directed immediately to the reading of your choice for those of you who chose the Labradorite, this is your reading for this equinox. What is shifting for you? So my loves, for pile number one, let's look at what is shifting for pile number one now with the equinox. Equinox is like such a portal of energy. We're having two of pentacles, nine, okay, nine of wands and ace of pentacles and right from the get-go i feel like for you guys issues in regards to having to persevere and having to hold on tight uh these things are shifting like the time of survival the time of yeah just having to be tough and and persevere and keep going or like i feel like this is connected to two things uh either financial material resources or um this has to do with the physical body this has to do with health you may have had to persevere for a while now you might have for quite a while actually because i feel like this is something that started over like nine years ago or something uh for some of you i feel like you guys could be millennials i've been speaking often in this channel about the millennials and the challenges that they've had right as they were coming out on the market uh 2008 was the year that pluto went into capricorn we had the financial crisis we had a lot of collapse when it comes to business when it comes to a lot of things that um people who were just graduating they were so eager to come out to the market and just you know be able to do their own thing and then everything collapsed and we had to be like the two of pentacles we had to be like mm, do i spend money for this do i spend money for the I'm, I'm hearing the absolute necessities it's like for a very very long time i've had to live to make do with like for the absolute necessities i would only spend money or if i would be able to bring money in it, it would be just a very much like a sur survival like very basic needs energy but something is coming in uh, and I feel because this is an ace of pentacles, for some of you it could be an actual opportunity that brings in more abundance that allows you to breathe a little. But what I feel, because this is like a deep soul uh, message here, I feel like this is you being able to come in touch with the energy of abundance. And that's how these things are coming in. It's like a new level of uh, abundance that you are accessing, but it's just because you on a level of consciousness are able now for the first time to come to step into and all of these experiences that you've been having of course they have been helping you a lot they have been kind of i mean the difficulties and all of the times that you had to hold on to and persevere uh they have made you aware of what it is that you desire very very strongly in regards to your finances and for those of you that this has to do with like health issues like the physical body same thing like illness is only putting a hyper focus for us on health there's a woman here pile number one yeah some of you may be having actually um gynecological problems like or fertility issues or um this might have had i'm also seeing like breasts i mean obviously this woman also is uh, you know she has her chest 
in common view, uh, heart issues, they like anything to do with, with, the, with the feminine, uh, but this thing is clearing up. Uh, or this might just have to do with what I said about you being able to come into a new level of abundance. This might have to do about you uh, tapping into your feminine. Uh, how can I say? There's a sense here of wounded feminine, which is like the ability to feel nourished, the ability to feel like you are supported and the ability to tap into your own intuition also because right now I'm being drawn to the very stone that your pile was coupled with. Labradorite ties into the ability to to perceive. It's a very psychic stone and also Labradorite is if you are doing rituals, if you're working with the other world, if you're doing let's say readings or whatever, it's about protection, psychic shielding in a way. And so I have a feeling that the feminine had been in a place where she was not feeling supported and also i get a message here about in interacting with the world i don't feel protected or supported i don't feel like i can recuperate after i've gone out and like have dealt with the world and that i see this woman also here choosing after a while to not be interacting with the world but just looking at the world like from her window like from her uh, safe space so to speak from where she feels safe but that wasn't safe that was just like you being pushed in a corner so to speak and af afraid to go and explore anything outside of that because of you know every time i go out there i don't feel supported i feel like i don't feel shielded i don't feel like i can go and not return with some weird darkness on me does that make sense and that might have to do with just you venturing out and just being hurt in a way so you're like <laughs> so this dark cloud is clearing my love and i think this is tied into your ability to receive this is the abundance this is the the consciousness shift that is occurring within you and i would suggest that you take the time to really spend time under open skies like watching the clouds lay on the grass and watch the clouds i don't know why but right now a spirit is calling me to say this kind of like an exercise like a practice for you to train your energy to surrender to open up and just completely feel safe and i'm hearing uh, someone saying like yeah I've seen so much that I would actually expect even like the sky to collapse over me like if I if I relax there and surrender and I lay on the grass and I'm looking up on the sky oh you have no idea how much things I have seen in my life I would expect I wouldn't be surprised if the sky would collapse on me no 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 this is <laughs> not happening anymore because this is a new a new level of being. This is the Ace of Pentacles. With Aces, we're always talking about a completely new, like clean canvas type of thing. It's not just about new opportunities coming in. This is about a new uh, level of consciousness in regards to your ability to receive. And I see this, yes, I see this uh, playing out in your finances, in your resources, in, in abundance, in wealth, material wealth. But also I see this in... Uh, f physical like even in your ability to receive pleasure like actually find a partner who physically um like uh, intimately is compatible and your physical body revels in this relationship as much as your emotional body i find this interesting because for your pile i chose to burn jasmine incense and this is very much linking into feminine energy but also like the the inward world like the um it's very prosperous prosperous energy it's a very precious energy oh geez look at that <laughs> even the incense is called precious jasmine <laughs> so it's a very precious energy but it's also exactly a very intuitive a very psychic energy so I feel like you guys are coming to rely more and more also into your own internal guidance. This space of isolation and the space of you having had to persevere for so long and to like going to choosing things, you know, when, when there has not been so much abundance and I absolutely have to like choose to be like very selective. Uh, this has made 
you very strong in the sense of like knowing what your values are, but also expect your values to start shifting, to, not, not a lot, but to start e expanding. Like you might start valuing things and valuing things, it means I'm, I'm seeing certain things as a priority. I'm making space for these things. I'm calling these things in. These things are important to me. Not having these things in a setting is a deal breaker of some type. Um, oh, and I'm, so it's gotta start being also things that you might have thought before that these things are luxuries. Or exactly because of these things having been, you know, like seen as luxuries, you might have been overriding like this calling towards these things. You might have been like, hi, yeah, I, I actually value this and that, but it's such a luxury. So it's, it's all right. Let's just not insist all too much. Okay, take this thing that came now and just, you know, whatever. So I see you being in a space where you will not have to override uh, the, this, this innate calling towards things you value right so my loves i want to uh pull a few cards oops i actually want to see what angelic presence you could work with during these days what angelic presence you could call in these days now of the equinox the equinox i don't think i mentioned this at the intro of the video it is on the 21st of march okay so i'm doing a reading about like kind of like the three days around the equinox before and after but it is really like three days like a 20 21st 20, 22nd of march it's an energy that doesn't just happen on one day but it's an energy that's kind of like bleeding a little bit over so i would like to see for pile number one what angelic presence is there to help them okay this is so interesting this one wanted to call out raziel and this is so interesting because raziel has to do with abundance but raziel is specifically it's it's you know what i'm gonna read to you from my book that just got released, The Alchemy of Angelic Invocation. I'm gonna read to you from my book what Raziel is about because you cannot make these things up. And for those of you who have the book, you will know it's on page 78 and it's under the chapter Archangels to work with for abundance and financial matters. Raziel, this is another angel that can help with abundance, but I have seen that Raziel kind of specializes in helping us accumulate, handle, and invest wealth wisely. See you guys how this is connected into abundance? If you have trouble accumulating abundance or have money coming in only to go out again, call Raziel and ask him directly to help you with keeping your money and using your abundance productively. Wisdom and enlightenment is Raziel's signature energy. Call him in and ask that all cords, vows, or other bindings that are connecting you to poverty consciousness and conditioning that keeps you stuck in lack from past experiences or even past lives be undone. Ask Raziel to help you prosper and to be wise about your financial decisions. So you see my loves, that's why this message kept coming in at the beginning, that this is about a new level of consciousness. It's not just about a new opportunity, like a new job. It's about a whole lot of like a completely different level of consciousness. And it's normal, you know, it's coming right after the nine of ones. Nine is all about finishing, closing chapters, unpacking things and uh, a new level of consciousness that is allowing you to attract completely different things. In, and receive in completely different things. See, my loves, the, the dark cloud is clearing up. We're coming back into the light. And Raziel, here it says enigma. I feel like for the longest time, prosperity might have been something that has felt like an enigma, like something like a riddle, like it's something you can't quite figure out. And I feel called pile number one to also read a little visualization for you, from, also from my book. Uh, for abundance and material needs. If you feel like it, close your eyes, put your hands over your heart, focus onto your breath and just follow this visualization, all right? It's just gonna take a minute. Visualize a safe cave with everything one could need. This cave 
is ever flooding with fresh, delicious food and fruit and money and precious stones and gold in beautiful caskets, resources, fire, warmth, safety and protection. The cave covers you with all those beautiful resources and with its vast mass. Nothing could ever penetrate the safety of the cave. The cave is beautifully lit with magical fires lodged in neat crevices on the walls. You take one thing from these piles of wealth and it immediately becomes replaced by another. Such is the bounty of this cave. A glowing fire, warm, burns in the middle of the cave and warm fuzzy blankets are spread over comfortable chairs, benches and a great bed tacked in a canopy of lush warm colors and fabrics. When in this cave, and you can travel here in your mind as often as you wish during your day to help you cultivate this emotional state of sufficiency and security. When in this cave, your rent is paid. You are safe. Money is on its way into your bank account. You have abundance flooding into your life in every possible way, from food, experiences, gifts coming in, little blessings here and there in various shapes and forms, all attracted right now, magnified towards you. A great luminous angel with strong armor and impenetrable energy field of light guards the cave and takes you in every time you need to revisit the warmth and coziness of being provided for in this cave of security. You have a dedicated protector angel over your finances. Call him in. Archangel Ariel, Raziel, Sahil and Barakiel are all here taking care of your material needs as well. You have three archangels you can ask to take care of your basic needs. Home, finances, health, security. So my beautiful loves, this is a visualization you can always return to. And these are some of the abundance archangels and angels that you can work with to help guide you in this shift. This is a shift that is happening for you. And if you are also spending time in nature, that's why maybe there was something to it about laying down on the grass and looking up to the clouds. You are like the, the grass. There's something about the grass. It's such an abundant symbolism grass, you know. It's just so much of it out in nature. And generally in nature, the bounty of nature is just undeniable. You spending time in nature is training your vibration, your signature to vibrate there at the, at the effortless abundance and at the, you know, that it's a given. It's a given in nature that there's so much greenery, so much lush energy. We don't we're not surprised when we go out there and we see such an abundance, like when we see the grass, it's just grass. It's normal and natural, right? Like, no, this is grass. So go and spend time touching grass, literally. Uh, this is you training your signature, your energy to, you know, it's the same consciousness of grass. <laughs> Work with Archangel Raziel. We read what Raziel is about from my book. And now I want to pull out a card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle for pile number one. What is shifting for them with this equinox? Look, freedom. This energy is bound, is tied to freedom, your sense of freedom. Uh, maybe this is a nice prompt also for journaling. Like when it comes to abundance, how abundance is tied to freedom and also how you might not be allowing yourself the, the freedom to experience abundance. Does that make sense? I don't know why I was called to say this, but I trust that there is a reason. But also something that I'm getting right now is that freedom is the signature. Like if you start tuning into the signature of freedom, you're going to start calling in abundance. So this is what I'm seeing. The 
level of consciousness that you're coming into and that's what you, look at this blessings this one wanted to stick out blessings this is and look these are both birds so if we are talking about nature <laughs> these birds they just feel free and they just bask into this sensation of freedom they are all day in nature so their energetic signature is trained to resonate with the bounty of nature and so this is you know this level of consciousness where we you don't think about being imprisoned you know like the survival mode but you revel you live in freedom you embody the energy of freedom and the energy of abundance is what follows what comes in what is attracted abundance is attracted to the energy of freedom so maybe you should journal a little bit in which ways you feel trapped in your life and see how you can implement more and more freedom into your life into your daily life even if it's just like little, little things like for example i don't know i feel trapped in my job but okay right now i cannot exactly let just up and leave but how can i then introduce the signature of freedom into my life so that i also end up attracting abundance maybe a way is to start like squeezing in some time for walks in nature spending some time in the park uh, after your work you know it's about the little little things you will start look we cannot we cannot push away the and sense of entrapment but we can start introducing the signature of freedom and you know this is going to kick start a complete different shift in in the energy and so because these two things are completely opposites okay they cannot exist together so when you bring in the 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 sense of freedom the sense of entrapment has to fall away after a while something has to happen a new opportunity like a shift in your in your finances a shift in your work uh, an opportunity to be doing something that you like so you don't have to feel trapped i don't know what this is going to play out like in your life but something has to happen and maybe that's why this visual about grass was coming in because you know grass has this ability to just multiply you don't even have to do anything but a little bit of grass you put it somewhere and start spreading so in the same manner whatever you start introducing and you make the conscious decision to shift into that and Archangel Raziel is strong ally to help you succeed in that I, I feel like this is already underway I feel like this is already something that you have been doing maybe a lot of work or this is something you've been setting intention for and I see that with, now with the equinox this shift is taking place into your life I would like to pull card from the fairy tarot for pile number one pile number one what is shifting for them yeah we have the ace of spring and the two of autumn the two of autumn is literally this is the, the two of pentacles and it says do everything you do with pleasure it's the juggling of different priorities or tasks a great talent for multitasking yeah so you see we don't have to like kick out of the window right away what it is that we feel is like limiting us but we can start we can be doing them at the same time we can introduce you know the the opposite and trust that this is going to kick start the ace of spring energy this is fire energy this is the ace of wands fire energy is purification is transmutation energy is alchemizing um the time has come to become active be fearless and follow your most beautiful dreams fantastic new opportunities in career see my loves when you start introducing these energies into your daily life with little things such as walks in nature and just gazing at grass or gazing the clouds like really tuning into the signature of nature found 
like so so easily in nature the signatures of abundance and freedom these blessings they have to start coming in that are representing the same energy into your life all right my beautiful ones i hope that this helped give some insight i love you all so very much give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how this resonated with you and i will see you in the next video here on lena's alchemy until then be blessed and have a great equinox goodbye for now hello beautiful pile number two for those of you who chose pile number two the pile with the beautiful amethyst uh cluster let's look at your messages we're talking about like the three days around the equinox so 20 21st 22nd this is like this energetic portal so let's see for pile number two what is shifting this equinox for pile number two four of swords The Hermit. Seven of Wands. King of Cups. Right. And the World. Okay, my loves. I feel that for some of you... Well, first of all, you. I see you going into a space... Okay, and the Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords about? Okay. Hmm. Okay. This has to do with a lot of things. Pile number two. I'm gonna try to include here as many messages as possible. And for some reason, also, I'm being drawn, drawn to this little friend over here. Why? What's with that? Is this something important to you guys? Is this something that you relate to? I mean, this ties into the energies of abundance. So if you had been between this one and pile number one, because pile number one was a lot about abundance, feel free to check it. So my loves, here what I'm getting is that you are being pulled into a space of introspection. And I have, the f I'm hearing for some, I let go of the drama, I let go of the fighting, I let go of like, you know, um, uh, how do you say this? Like locking horns with with other people. It's just overkill. It's it's too much. It's like messing up my emotions. But also the fights of the world, the fights of you know. I'm just I'm just not paying attention to this anymore. I'm just going into a space of self care and really like hermit mode, because quite frankly, when I look around it's what's going on it just makes me doubt so much the possibility of any success for the things that i'm really good and gifted at you know it's like the world and it's in such emergency and then when i look at the gifts that i'm here to offer and how much i could be receiving also from these look also like at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups as well a lot of cups energy here with the king of cups and the page of cups as well so uh when i look at, at this it, it just looks silly it just looks hilarious but no this is not allowed to to happen like this because if i stop or at least this is the message here maybe maybe this is what you need to hear pile number two that if you stop showing up and if you stop um or if you choose not to show up because of how you see the chaos of the world and you're like oh come on the people have problems now i'm gonna go there and be doing my i don't know my art my craft or like show up the way i want to show up like look at that like the world has problems now if you don't show up then yes the world goes to crap and you showing up pile number two here's what it is actually bringing the healing in the world he's like how can i be any use or how is it isn't it like extra isn't it like too, too much right now what i want like look what's going on in the world it's like no 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 you showing up is what's going to bring the calmness the peace the healing into the world you chose the pile also with the amethyst my love amethyst is literally like killing the bad vibes like just raising the good vibes raising the good vibrations so this is what you are supposed to be doing you are supposed to be raising the good vibrations into your own life i don't know 
here I just see that going into hermit mode and into rest mode and into just resting self-care meditation time in quiet time in peace and introspection or whatever it's just detaching from the drama and the fight and because i feel like also there has been a lot of fight also going on within you and this has also gotten you tired and you're like no it's time to just listen to my emotion like my emotional energy how do i feel and like tend to my emotions like see to it that my emotional life is in balance um, so re like bringing in the good vibrations into your life and, and also with what it is that you are offering, you are also like, this is also an extension of the good vibrations. If you feel good, you can do it good. And the energy you contribute is something that the world re needs right now. So I see pile number two, that this equinox, this is being either highlighted or you are uh, becoming aware of that or you're having like a breakthrough in you know in your own internal process or this is happening this is shifting you shift into that version of you that is uh, investing in how do I feel and like really ramping up my my energy in a positive and uplifted manner like my emotional signature and i Oh, okay, there's multiple messages here. <laughs> Wait, spirit, <laughs> one by one. So, yeah, and you bringing in these gifts, maybe you are releasing um, music or you're putting out something or you start something or just the way you show up. Maybe you just a decision to just start showing up differently and being like, you know what, I'm gonna be the light but first i need to yeah like pour into me make sure that i balance myself because emotionally i've been all over the place all over the place felicia and then i can be uh, an amethyst cluster <laughs> wherever i go but here exactly there is another message there is a message of light working of being a light worker literally doing prayer or going into uh, some type of uh, a ritual or some type of ceremony or maybe you on your own like doing engaging in either in prayer uh, or lighting a candle something has to do with the world something has to do with you feeding positive energy into a situation into a global situation or you sending energy this this is also a lot like reiki kind of like you are giving energy to someone who is far far away from you or maybe you're the one who, who needs a little bit of energetical support right now. Maybe this is why you're um, pulling into a space. Oh my God, yes. Hmm. Okay, hear this. There's this portion of you that the equinox is causing a little bit what we call these ascension symptoms. You might be feeling drained. You might be feeling like completely blah. <laughs> So this might have you pulling out from a little bit of your, maybe you've been showing up, being a healer, being a light in the world. Now you're like pulling back a little bit because you need to pour back into yourself. That's perfectly beautiful, perfectly fine. Just do this. This equinox is favor, favoring this for you. And also I'm being called to tell you to look into your natal chart, maybe because also there's like a new moon in Aries. Uh, the day after the equinox um and there's a lot of stuff going on astrologically right now so many planets and so many points and so many aspects are uh gathered are coinciding in aries in the sign of aries and this is a lot about new beginnings but before new beginnings we have always you know the time where we are kind of taking a little bit of a rest so we are able to step in again fully so i'm being called to ask you to look into your natal chart maybe there's a lot that you have in Aries, but also I'm being drawn to the energy of Pisces. I mean, here in Germany, uh, the time that the new moon is happening is I think like at 18 in the evening. Yeah, 18.35 is happening on the 21st. So this is actually in Pisces. The new moon here in Germany is actually occurring in Pisces. You guys might be in a similar 
time zone where the new moon is not happening in Aries but it's happening in Pisces and that's why for you like you are under this energetic influence and so you could be dealing exactly with heightened sensitivity um, this Piscean energy so it's a beautiful opportunity just take the time and recuperate and also do do a clearing but I'm seeing like cord cutting but like have another healer and I don't know why I'm saying have another healer because I feel a little bit like you are a healer already but now it's the time that you go to another healer that you go to a medicine woman or medicine man and you receive some love and care um this is so interesting these thoughts also about you doubting whether it makes any difference for you to be showing up and stuff like I think that this is just these thoughts are there just because your energy is a little bit whacked up so this is not a reflection of truth I would say or I'm a beautiful ones uh yeah okay I want to go back to the message about light working because there is here uh yeah I want to return to this message that was about you sending energy to someone far away um I'm I'm seeing like someone putting their hands like over over water of a body of water let's say a sea or a river or something like that um this is something that i personally do often i go and i pray over the rivers and i speak blessings into the water and i say travel far and wide and take these blessings with you this you know water carries consciousness and if we do some reiki or like if we pour some blessings if we speak life speak blessings speak protection and 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 ascension over the waters the waters they travel and they go to other places to other areas on planet earth that maybe are in crisis right now we have a big ass situation in ukraine as you might know so um this might also have to do with that and that maybe that was the message at the beginning of like oh i can't see the fights of the world because i also got this in in my meditation that this week we might be seeing quite a lot of things going on also with that and then i open my youtube and i see there's like these videos like breaking news there's like an arrest warrant for vladimir putin and stuff like that and and i was like oi 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 the world now i understand what spirit was implying and also i had a dream about it that mm, the world this week might be stuck on their tvs but if you can just completely detach from that life is outside of the tv just don't don't pay any attention to that because my love pile number two you are sensitive you're a light worker you're supposed to be uh taking care of your own emotional signature so that then you can be of service you can bring in the healing you can from a, a space of a filled cup where your emotional energy is high and is you know is up and it's not drained from this space you can go and you can put your hands over the waters and bless the waters and and you know bring blessing call forth blessing for this world um i i feel like pile number two you could be doing this work this week and over the equinox you could be doing this work where you are speaking blessings lighting a candle doing a prayer for relief for peace uh, into the world and specifically when it comes to you know like um yeah, this situation with, with the war in Ukraine. I think that this week is a meeting also between Putin and the Chinese guy, the Chinese whatever, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I try not to follow these things, to be honest, but I just know how, how, I, how I know about this is because YouTube, every time there's some something, they just throw all sorts of like breaking news videos on my feed. Um, and it doesn't matter how often I, I choose that mm, not interested, always when there's like breaking news you know i get these notifications so that's how i know about that but this could also be exactly applying differently to some of you guys pile number two so my beautiful ones i want to see but there's really this message here that pile number two you are sensitive and you need to be very very uh protective of your energy these days clearing cleansing but also really retreating look at this we have the four of swords and we have the hermit it's like retreat retreat into a sacred space and detach from from the fighting go into the heart go into the heart space and let that reverberate outwardly it's going to be healing not just for you but it's yeah there's something here about the global situation 
Yeah, look at that. This is all about also like social media, things that may be chattered about on social media, Twitter, news. This is this is a lot the energy of like what I said about like YouTube throwing me like all of these notifications and this breaking news, you know, this breaking news videos. And I mean, I understand why they do it. You know, of course, I choose every time. No, not interested, not interested. But I am, I'm, I'm also a little grateful that they're letting me know with these notifications because let's say that there was something going on in my area knock on wood um uh, it, you know it's good that they would let me know because if nobody would let me know i myself because i don't follow the news um i wouldn't know <laughs> um and i'm saying this because i feel like i'm talking with you i feel like you can relate And the star, exactly, my love. You have to remember that you are the star. You are the star. Also, like in 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 the in the tarot, it's a very healing energy. It's a light working energy, and so you cannot be a light worker if you're consumed. But look, if you're con consumed by this circus, by this play, this movie, these these people with these different masks that are playing different roles and it's like a it's like it's like a, a tragedy i'm hearing but it's there's lots of different ways of seeing it Ooh. punishment there's a message here about punishment someone is going to be punished this week or there's this possibility about punishment and this is also part of this movie what is this about And why is this message here on a on a on a pile? Why is a message, a global message in a pile? Why is this not in a collective reading? Because I asked Spirit this morning, like, should I do a collective reading? But it was like, no, you're gonna do pick a card. Alright. The tower. This is about institutions. This is about I'm hearing news, news anchor. Oh, this might have to do about broadcasting. So, okay, yeah, you guys, <laughs> detach from what is being said and what the what the big towers of power are broadcasting. And this brings me also a little bit. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This thing is reverberating in a very strange manner. What I'm saying here, this. Okay, and I'm seeing someone like you, the light worker, sitting there and wondering and being like, why the heck do I feel like that? It's like there's a tower that is broadcasting a signal and I'm very sensitive to it. Hmm. You guys, this could be relating to a lot of things in our world that I'm not sure I would like to speak on here because I see that every time that I share controversial things, my views are just plummeting and yeah look and the five of pain. yeah this is what it is about so oof. and and the devil and the the ten of swords eight of swords five of cups and then the the two of uh, pentacles this is a lot about being able to discern all right so there's a lot of weird things being broadcasted. I'm hearing a word. I'm hearing... Oh, that's interesting. I'm hearing the word Archon. Archon. That's weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I know what this is about. Yeah. So I'm not going to explain this because I'm not sure. I haven't done research to know if I subscribe to this idea. But the word Archon could be something that you... No, there's this energy here that is kind of like negative, very parasitic. And that's why also I feel like keeping your energy high is imperative, but also doing some cord cutting and going going to, to a healer to support you at the same time. Because I feel like you are a healer yourself, but you need a little bit of, you know, you've been giving a lot from your own cup for a long time. So, and, and you are sensitive to things that are being broadcasted energetically. Now broadcasted i mean literally news 
things that are coming in, this whole circus, this whole thing that we are seeing on our on our screens, you know. And now there's somehow like a question about someone being punished. This might have to do about this whole story with Putin and this arrest war on I'm also he I'm also seeing a P, but this is not about Putin. President. I'm seeing the word president. Yeah, Putin is president, isn't he? Isn't he? What is he? Um Putin and the president. Putin the pre the pre I don't know. This could this feels like two different things, but I don't know why this is two different things because Putin is the president, right? So anyways, this has this might have to do with this. You guys, I I apologize for those that this message might not be resonating with you. I understand now that this is a very specific message. So, Orama loves you. Really, really need to to just tune into like just just drop all of these things, drop all of these external like narrations and stor stories, story storytelling, and all of these things, and uh, just choose to tune back into your light because you are the light. You are needed. You are the star. I'm also hearing oof. Does it even make sense? Me sh showing up and being the healer and pouring light, does it even do something to the world? Or am I just helping people cope? And through this coping, they don't change anything in their lives? Um, no, 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 you're helping them. With what you're doing, you're helping them because little by little, you're massaging a different kind of consciousness into their own sphere. And so they eventually become aligned with different levels of consciousness and that's how we e eventually shift on a global level oh my god this reading has been so complex and i'm feeling a little exhausted in my effort to try to like put everything through but that's what i'm seeing so let me pull oops uh, I, I want to pull a card to see which angel or which archangel can help you navigate this Equinox. So this is whoop, Raziel again, but also Jophiel. Oh my God, Jophiel is perfect for for this situation, and Raziel as well, because Raziel is like the shift of consciousness is and the the tra trans transformation is what he's about, and Jophiel is the archangel of beauty, but helps us beautify our energy and tune tune into the, the beauty and the light and i want to read to you from my book the alchemy of angelic invocation what jophiel is about so jophiel beauty art creativity positivity beauty externally and internally positive mindset beautiful surroundings wisdom and understanding making peace with life by releasing ignorance or prejudice manifesting more beauty in our lives through elevated thought processes Jophiel supports artists and artistic projects, interior design and decorating, awakening, self-awareness, inspiration, hope and joy. The symbols of Jophiel are a golden or sparkling bright diamond light of positivity and flaming sword. All right, and there's a little prayer here that I would like to share with you. Beloved Archangel Jophiel, fill my mind with beauty and help me see my life and the world around me with beauty. Help me find the small miracles in my everyday life. Guide me to the most beautiful, uplifting and inspiring views and interactions. Bless me with beauty in and out, from my appearance to my thoughts and expectations. Help me in building a mindset that is most supportive of me being open and receptive to the best this life has to offer. Help me see miracles and attract beautiful gifts from the universe as well as to be a joy to those around me. In the greatest good of all, it is done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beloved Archangel Jophiel. So, and you have also Raziel. I wanna read to you also Raziel. This is another angel that can help with abundance, but I have seen that Raziel kind of specializes in helping us accumulate, handle and invest wealth wisely. If you have trouble accumulating abundance or have money coming in only to go out again, call Raziel and ask him directly to help you with keeping your money and using your abundance productively. Wisdom and enlightenment is Raziel's signature energy. That's why I call him in, my love, and call Jophiel as well. 
Enigma and Wonder are the words on each of these cards. So call Raziel in and ask that all chords, vows or other bindings that are connecting you to poverty consciousness and conditioning that keeps you stuck in lack from past experiences or even past lives be undone. It's so interesting because that's why I was feeling about you doing like cord cutting and, and, and stuff. Ask Raziel to help you prosper and to be wise about your financial decisions. All right, my loves, let me pull some cards from here. Mm. And look who is at the bottom of the deck, Raphael, the master healer with the word sympathy. Yeah, you guys, pal number two, I feel like you guys are shamans and you either don't know it or you are a little bit out of whack right now and you just need a little bit of rest and recuperation you're gonna be fine my loves i'm seeing a big download like this feels like a big ass download that is coming to you also look happiness the dolphins are also a symbol of elevated consciousness oops potential and there's one card here flow yeah getting back into the flow and with the king of where was it the king of cups here right interesting pile number two you are such an interesting individuals such interesting indivi individuals and lastly pile number two balance Balance from the tarot of the fairies is basically a uh, temperance, a temperance card. Temperance, temperance card in the tarot is this angel that is doing alchemy, right? Is alchemizing the energy, is pouring from one cup and another and is alchemizing the... So I feel like you guys might have picked up on energy um, because you can afford it. Does that make sense? You are a transmuter and I feel I get this visual like your body is kind of like like a like a tower that not only broadcasts but also receives signal. Where's the tower? The tower card got lost. Oh, look at that. The tower had gone together with a star. So maybe this is it. Maybe you are the lighthouse. Maybe you're shining bright in a manner that attracts all sorts of things. I don't know why, but this tower, these, these flying things here, it reminds me of the Nazgul, you know, like in Lord of the Rings, these evil flying dragons. That's weird. It, this tower has a lot of like Lord of the Rings references, uh, kind of like the watchful eye or something, I don't know. But you are like this source of light that kind of attracts things and this is because you suck things into your core and then you transmute them in there. Look, also I'm being guided here to the center of the star, this red energy, this fire energy, the fire energy of transmutation. You are, you are doing alchemy in a very particular manner. You are alchemizing things and you have the help of the angels. Because currently, I, that's what I feel. I feel like something has pushed you out of balance and working with Raziel, Raphael, and uh, Jophiel, uh, they can help you transmute whatever energy that is that is whacking you off. Um, and really, you guys, yeah, I'm just feeling that this is like the collective upheaval energy that is currently a lot of it, because there were so many messages in here about, about the situation in Ukraine, about Putin and a, a president, I don't know what that was about. So. Um, yeah, a lot of what's going on in the world might be what's bogging you down, even on an on a unconscious level, but it's because you are a, an alchemist, you are a transmuter. So give yourself some time to rest, because your body, your, your whole, you know, I'm being shown that it's like you're chewing on this energy without even knowing it. I'm seeing someone like just getting up, doing things normally, like cooking in their kitchen and like... <laughs> Someone is wearing kind of like kind of like a collan, kind of like yoga pants. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why these visuals are coming, why these details. But maybe this is something that you know to to help you understand if this message for you, and and the acorn also. 
Ooh, Jesus Christ. Now that I touched this, I felt strong indigenous and energy. Uh, kind of like I am tribe acorn. Does that make sense? And there's also here a connection to raven. All right, so eight of cups. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Detach, walk away energetically and uh, we have here the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles yeah you have uh, just it's good to be look at that two of pentacles also here it's good to be a little bit discerning because when you see things it's like you're immediately like sucking things in because you have this ability you're a powerhouse you have this ability to suck things in and then transmute them and you put this energy back as light into the world this is your offering this is, this is what you are doing but it's it's a tough thing because while you are absorbing this energy and you are like tr transmuting it you don't even know that that that's what you are doing all you feel is that goddamn i'm tired and 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 then you start even doubting a lot of like what you are doing and but you're a master of emotions you're a master of emotional energy and the fact that you're working with Jophiel is telling me as much so call in Jophiel ask them to help you tune back into the star the light worker the light inside and this this is this is what I'm seeing for this equinox for you my loves I one from the Archangel Michael deck. I feel like, I don't know, I didn't do this for the previous deck, or for the previous pile, but pile number two from Archangel Michael. As I said, for pile number two, you're not alone, I just heard. I'm with you always. Keep your eyes on the goal of your intentions. Yes, keep your vision towards what you want to see being born for this new earth, for this new world, for, for your own life. Your intuition is real and trustworthy. You are on point and let go of fear now. You're not alone, I'm always with you. Um, <laughs> so, so, so sweet. All right, my loves, so this is what I see as an energy. I'm not, I'm not sure here, like, I think that what is shifting is this thing, like, from you being sucked into things, like, what is shifting is the energy and your ability to either be discerning or your ability to, like, maybe you had been in a process of transmuting something and now going through this gateway, this energetical gateway, of the equinox this is what is shifting your energy is shifting you're popping out of this l low level of because I, I have this feeling that you have this gift that we spoke about of alchemy of alchemizing things but it it, it has been operating from a lower level for a while now and it's been getting you tired and stuff and so i feel like with the equinox what is shifting is also your ability to be using this gift from a higher space like where it doesn't exhaust you where you don't get sucked into things or when you absorb something that you know you, you are able to transmute that you are you can discern that hey this material is not me this doubt is not because there's actually something to doubt here but it's because oh, okay i'm chewing on something so let me go into self-care let me ramp up my emotional energy in a beautiful manner let me work with raziel and zophiel and Raphael and um michael as well while i'm shifting this energy let me just get as comfortable as i can and not start like wondering like what's what's going on and what is wrong and something is going on something is like no all all is good and i have the feeling that you going to a, a healer i don't i feel like you guys are super strong uh, as a healer but i feel like there's something some exchange some 
it could even just be a conversation with someone that kind of clicks like like pushes a button in, in you in, and there's a, sh a shift that makes you understand the game i'm hearing look at that the queen of cups listen to your heart intuitive insights that are trustworthy caring for others a little bit too much maybe so see it's about pulling it back to you and ten of cups see my loves all all is well people that you can trust also says this card so i love you also very much this is what is shifting for you this equinox your ability to use your gift in a manner that um doesn't feel so draining for you and and i mean this this reading has been huge so you see how it's just multi-layered but a lot is shifting for you <laughs> pile number two i thank you for having been here with me i love you all very much take care and i will see you on my next one goodbye for now hello my beautiful pile number three how are you doing so we are looking at what is shifting for you this equinox uh, it's happening i believe in march 21st right and i'm looking at the energy of the days around that three days how, how i'm feeling like 20 21st 22nd these portals of energy they don't just happen in one day you know so their energy is bleeding through around a little bit so i'm just looking into what is shifting for you at this point you chose by the way the pile with the green calcite and oh i'm hearing higher heart this is like a, you know the heart center the higher heart is somewhere here between the throat and the heart this is the higher heart chakra these are 5d chakras <laughs> i mean these are energy centers that we are coming to be able to access and work with the more we rise in consciousness and i feel like pile number three you are on it so let's look at what is shifting for pile number three oops i wanted to cut this one more time and i feel like spirit is urging me to just tone it down just calm like go slow The Empress, <laughs> High Priestess, of course, we're supposed to take it slow. Right. You need peace, my loves, huh? What's been going on for you? The sun and like dealings with the family. Listen, pile number three, the days of the equinox, you need to not do anything. Just drop everything you are doing and don't do anything. Quite frankly, I'm being shown here that you need to go into a period of inaction. My right ear is ringing like crazy right now um you need to go into a three days period of inaction of where you are pouring into yourself like and enjoying and but but also not so much enjoying like really just be by yourself detach from everything and connect with spirit there is here a download there is an energy of light that is coming in, that is pouring in, and you are to receive it, but you need to be uh, still to, re to receive it. And I'm seeing also that it will be wonderful if you can be sitting like with your back upright. So I'm seeing someone sitting, let's say, in, in meditation pose outside in nature um, and receiving something as if like from the crown chakra and it's going down like through the spine and it's igniting n not just the heart center i feel like it's igniting everything i cannot pinpoint it like to a specific energy center 
it it just feels like once it's coming through from from the crown it's igniting everything but you need to just drop drop everything you're doing oops After that, you will be able to have, like, this is bringing clarity that is going to help you shut out people and situations and, quite frankly, ways of doing things and also ways of... I'm feeling that this is you kind of taking accountability for how you may have been holding yourself back from acting on your on your passions and your... in. I don't want to say inspirations, but your visions, but I'm, I'm hearing like spirit or yourself, your higher self, like is telling you, you know what to do. You know what you're supposed to do. But what you've been lacking has been the warrior energy. And so I feel like this warrior energy is coming through in a, in a download. And I feel strongly that this download is coming from the sun, the sunshine. So if you can go sun gazing, like late, you know when the when the sunset is is coming down and uh, uh yeah this is it this is this is going to to bring this this energy this it's like rejoice celebration <laughs> it's time for you to receive this because you've been sitting too long in the shadows and you've been wallowing for too long in emotions that are not accurately uh tr tr translating or they're not accurately how do I say this? Depicting or or narrating or or showing where you are at or what is expected of you, but also what is awaiting you. I love how clearly spirit speaks, but it's this clarity. You're going to cut out people, and you're going to have other people coming in who you are going to be able to collaborate with. You do not have to do this on your own. Help is going to be given to you. But this is something that in order to attract, you need to be on that vibrational level. You, you, it's not the vibrational level we are at because we are at this consciousness. And I'm feeling that mother, the mother figure has been important. Literally what I'm hearing here is your mother never taught you this consciousness level. I feel like this is tied into motherly love, like being taken care of by your mama. Um, your mama showing you that, you know, your mama being sweet, being soft, being uh, soothing and, and nurturing and nourishing to you. And so as a, as a little kid, you, d you, did not, you were not shown this level of consciousness. You were shown hard, hard energy. There's a cold and hard energy. And there's this energy of grief over here. For many of you, you might not even had a mom. Or your mama might have been dealing with quite a lot. And I just heard someone say, she don't see me. She doesn't see me. She never saw me. Okay, so my, yeah, my, your mama had been dealing with a lot of things herself, so she absolutely could not see, see you and the beautiful, beautiful, precious thing that you are. But really, I just get this sense that there is masculine energy coming in with this download that is enabling you to just, like, there's this warrior energy that is, I'm, I'm doing this. Look at that, the nine, nine of uh, cups again here. And the king of cups and the three of wands. Successful venture, successful. You're going to be successful emotionally. You just really have to sit down. It's, it's, um, it's a download, it's a consciousness download that literally love is like God, love energy is bending down and is reaching down to, to, to you and is offering this. It's like, look at this beautiful little flower. Nobody told them how precious 
they are let's put this into their mind <laughs> let's introduce this consciousness into them and you will see this is going to ignite you and this is going to start reverberating from you outwardly it's going to be inside of you this love oh hello doggy there's a doggy um barking this is going to be oh my gosh this is like the love of a dog <laughs> when you literally see a dog and even if a dog has been abused or uh, you know you see them always being able to tune back into the the love and not only for themselves like like being happy and just as if nothing bad has ever happened to them but also they're you know pouring this love reverber reverberating this love also to everybody that they touch in their lives like with with their gay attitude and with their beautiful okay here we have the justice i would like to pull some cards from the lenderman number three oops where did you go here we go the home all right yeah And this is tied to you like from from this space of, of nurturing yourself we have the home here but also more beautiful ones we have the mountains you've climbed literally this is what i heard the mountains i've climbed and to, to get me to this point and it's like i'm not gonna share this story i'm not gonna share my light i'm not gonna share show like i'm not gonna put myself out there after the mountains i've climbed so we have the garden uh, the garden is about you showcasing things like your talents and this and that and but I'm feeling also it's a, ref a refreshment what is this that I'm getting you know you could it could be a garden that is barren but it could also be a garden that is so lush and with this picture here I'm being taken back to this message that was coming at the beginning where this download that is coming in is just a completely different level, level of consciousness that is going to start operating from inside of you. You're gonna start operating with that as your program. You know, we're, we're doing like in a computer, we're changing the software or we are adding to the software another program that is changing significantly how the whole software is operating i'm sorry you guys i see the whole time that something's happening and my microphone is dying but it's all right this is what ha what happens when you're working with spirit electronics just go kaboom so this new program <laughs> that is making the software function very very differently it's also putting you in a space where you no longer accept this you no longer accept things that are shady, things that are underhanded. And so you might find yourself actually cutting away connections and reconnecting with kindred souls, like with a soul tribe. Where are they? We had also here, yeah, exactly. Uh, where you can also build with them. Not only have a good time with them, but you can also build with them. And some of these things they might also some of these new relationships they might also be terminated at another point in the future when you have also leveled up even more because it's like you know every time you cannot you know every level up that you do you cannot be matching with the same things anymore so so these new things could also have an expiration day, date but they're going to help you go the mile and this is how life is my loves we get a little bit help from here in the first kilometer then on the next kilometer someone else is helping us on the other kilometer it feels more natural that we cooperate with that person then that also falls away because we are now ready to go to the next kilometer so this is just you know a natural process of life and it's like um just like every year we do this process where we plant seeds they grow when they are ready we cut them we you know use and, and and then again 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 it doesn't mean that when something is being cut when we when we cut 
the 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 wheat or whatever it is it doesn't mean that that was it that was a one-off and now never again now we're not gonna have any wheat growing here ever again no in the end we even like clear the field completely from the old uh plants we like uh you know pluck them out and we you know re how do you say we rejuvenate the the soil maybe with cow manure or with whatever and and we wait that it rains a little bit and the soil becomes nice and soft and mushy and then we uh, dig and we refresh it and then we put new seeds and then we have the whole cycle again from the start there is something here about the impermanence of relationships and about you being okay with that like this download is going to help you find the the warrior but inside of you but also like this genuine forward movement energy forward moving energy that understands that yeah there is an impermanence in in everything let alone in our relationships with people because as we grow they either don't grow so they cannot come with with us or they also grow or we completely grow 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 in completely different directions and that's all right there's always like a, a purpose that we each serve in each other's life and this is what you are being helped also to understand with these energies coming in this equinox pile number three let me look at what angel or archangel is around for you and you can work with to help you integrate these energies most easily pile number three pile number three for the equinox we have Zafkiel. There's an eagle that is carrying this person. Yeah, it's a little bit like this. This reminds me of Lord of the Rings, where they arrived at Mordor, they threw the ring inside, well, <laughs> with Gollum, and then everything seemed to be collapsing and they didn't know how they could leave the place. So they were like, oh, we're probably just gonna die here. And if you look at the, like for those of you who haven't watched the, the Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, it's like this journey of Frodo and his friends, this journey to go to the mountain of fire to, to accomplish their goal of throwing the ring inside. Um, every step along that journey, the help has been always from different places, like the fellowship of nine, people that started it did not remain like that until the end of the journey in the end frodo was there only with sam gadsby G G G gamji gamji what was his name <laughs> not gadsby gadsby is the other movie with leo dicaprio <laughs> so this is about also a message that ties back into this message about like the impermanence of relationships and about exactly in the one kilometer we get help from this one from, from this person and then you know and there was even like people that we thought they were bad or we thought they would be a problem like there was prince boromir who tried to steal he had a moment he tried to steal the ring from frodo and because the ring was pulling out the worst out of each person so we have this phase where he tried to kill frodo to take the ring but then in this moment he snapped out of it just when the orcs were attacking to kill frodo. Frodo and so Boromir sacrificed himself fighting the orcs so that Frodo could escape and run away off to his journey towards the mountain of fire so you see that sometimes we get help if the if even from people that at first glance we were like whoa oh, why are you trying to do here you're trying to be trouble so even people that have been trouble for a while even these people could be of help it's like they've always helped us advance to the next and to the next and to the next stage of our journey archangel zafkiel you can call in to help you understand these things and who else is there someone else yuri i was just about to say <laughs> veneration uriel 
I was just about to say Uriel because I know from my own experience that Uriel has always been wonderful in helping me understand things that I couldn't wrap my head around. And allow me to read a little bit from my book, The Alchemy of Angelic Invocation. Allow me to read for you what Uriel is about because I find it so interesting that I was just about to say their name and the card just popped out. Here we are, yes, Uriel, the light of God. And look, the light of God, the sun, right? The download that we said it's gonna come through sunshine. So you better get out there in nature, sit nice with your spine, like beautifully aligned, allow the solar energy to bring through the, the, the download through your crown chakra and all the way into your system via your spinal cord. So Uriel, the light of God, divine wisdom, illumination, clarity, and understanding about why certain things happened in your life, understanding events and integrating life lessons, light work, thoughts, ideas, creativity, philosophy, using your light to elevate, uplift, and inspire the world with your gifts and wisdom. This goes also back to this the mountain and it, it arrives at the garden when it was like, after all the mountains that I've climbed, am I not gonna showcase what I am about, like who I've become? And there's something here, oh my God, there's here, if you look at this picture, if you look at this picture, there's like this peacock that attracted my attention and here, like these angels. These angels. <laughs> That's why you also have two angels, right? Zafkiel and Uriel. So let's read on further about Uriel. So the symbols of Uriel, just so you know, is the lantern, or he might be seen holding like a fire in his palm, or seen holding a book or a scroll of wisdom, flaming sword, the disc of the sun, element of fire, alchemical symbols, root chakra, disc of stars and constellations, blue jay or bluebird, and the colors of Uriel are amber, yellow, uh, ruby red, purple, orange, pale yellow. And there's a little prayer here. Archangel Uriel, I call you forth to help me understand the lessons in my life and assist me in integrating the power gained from these lessons in a way that I can use them productively to uplift and empower myself and others in the highest good of all. Please help me understand, blah, blah, blah. Describe your experience that you wanna understand. Help me be a light in this world for myself and for others. Pour God's divine light through my whole being and place protection all around me and my path so I can radiate God's light for all to see with safety and security. For all to see with safety and security. I told you that the garden is about you being out in the public, being, being shown, showcasing, and the two angels here. So protection is also coming in so that you are able to share God's light with safety and security. In the highest good of all, it is done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't believe that I have something about Safkiel in my book, but you can do your research and see what Safkiel could be helping you with. Now I wanna put some cards from here. For pile number three, what is shifting for them this equinox? Pile number three. Pile number three. Oops. Security. Look at the fire. We seriously have here some fire solar energy. And I want to say this. I told you that the this crystal here is the higher heart. And this is an energy center that we start connecting to when our consciousness uh, starts raising a little bit. You know, so... The higher heart is a symbol about higher emotions, elevated emotions, like literally this sense of grief or guilt or just whatever in regards to previous choices or relationships or previous things that we loved but they fell apart. Um, it's like your, your ability to tune into higher emotions, like seeing seeing things from a higher perspective that allows you elevated states of emotions, not being burdened anymore by the lower emotional body. 
And I'm also hearing like the pain body versus the pleasure body. And I mean, look at that. The Empress is here. And the High Priestess is here. And there's here also a message about you having had to be like very, very patient along your path while you were climbing this um, these these mountains. Where's the card with the mountains? I don't see it anymore. And with the house here, we spoke about like really also your ability, coming into your ability to n nourish and nurture your own self, even though you did not receive that from mama. Okay, Let's see what else for card number three. Okay, two cards. Healing chaos. I feel like this is behind you. And delight, yes, this is what is coming in. You're shifting out of the pain body and into the pleasure body, into the delight. Literally, the sunshine is coming into your consciousness, is coming into your being. Go out in nature to allow yourself to receive this download. This is a download of consciousness. Let me pull some cards from the fairy tarot, pile number three. We have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Confusion is going away. Self-confidence, this fire energy that the Queen of Wands is about, this lioness. All right. This is what is shifting for you, my loves. I would like to pull. Why not? A message from Archangel Michael. For pile number three. For pile number three, a message. <gasps> a new beginning and a fresh start. <laughs> I love this so much for you, I love three. Woo! All right, my beautiful loves, I thank you so much for having been here with me. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I love you, and I hope to see you on another video here on Lina's Alchemy. Until then, goodbye for now. Happy Equinox. Mwah. Goodbye.